My left stroke just went viral. Hey everybody, Greco Fabulous here and welcome to another episode of Spidey Sense. The series where I get to be your co-pilot. You get to be my co-pilot. I don't take a back seat to nobody. As they rate America's thrift shops, yard sales, and flea markets. As you can see, I am in a moving vehicle right now, driving home from work. I've traded in my usual backdrop of my dresser with all my toys for this because I'm hoping it will expedite this YouTube video making process. Because if you haven't noticed, I've been very, very inactive recently. I haven't stopped buying things, but I just haven't been able to find the time to make the videos. So I figure instead of going all crazy setting up studio lighting, I'm just gonna be another lunatic screaming in his car using that great big ball of fire in the sky to light my pretty face and hopefully get you more content on a regular basis. F you truck. Before I get into an automobile accident, let's go to the flea market. All right, I can tell this is gonna be a great day. Well, that's unfortunate. No, it stopped the recording. So for some reason my GoPro cut out right before my day got started. Which is too bad because you miss some really cool things like me running into fellow YouTubers Sprooch Game Hunting and my Instagram stalker the Retro Toy Pile knocking over a mannequin. Luckily this is reality TV so we'll just do it again. Take it from the top. Nothing? Eh. Uh, see, it's a turtle with like ancillary characters but... I don't think I'm there yet. Actually, I have one of these. Yeah. But I don't have one. So. Yeah. Yeah. All I'm saying is that you could have one. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to beg me. There's a bunch of dynamots down there. I don't have swoop, but that's probably like a million dollars. All I have is sludge. Yeah, but yeah, so you you're can, right. Then you can. Like glass. I said. Excuse me, um, are you selling the Dinobots as a lot or? Yeah, 125 for the set. That's not bad. I got the same thing with the constructor comes, but they have all the weapons and all everything. That's 350 for those. 125 bucks isn't terrible, especially since I would sell back everyone but Swoop to make my money back. But I don't keep that kind of dough on me at the flea market. And going to an ATM is for peasants. Can you imagine if TMZ caught me making a withdrawal? It would be social suicide. Plus, his swoop was broken, so no dice. $350 for a Devastator is unexplainable though. I don't care how great of a condition it's in. You can get that guy off eBay for $125 to $150 tops. And if you don't know, now you know. I feel like even if I had the money to buy something like that, I would still much prefer like, Finding them one by one here and there and putting it together. Yeah, yeah. I'd get a more of a sense of accomplishment. So this week you got a couple of proton packs. Yeah, the past few weeks we've gotten two proton packs. I don't know how you find anything on Craigslist. I look probably like every day and I never find anything. Really? No, like, what do you what do you even search? And the truth will set you free. And this is why I can't have friends. They don't want me for me. They want my lucky charms. Hey, <laughs> Is that little yeah, guy? It's a bendy yeah. man. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's a thing where I can just... Ah, like, true to his name. Yeah. Yep. I mean, that's fine. Freedom still. Found Skeletor. Yeah. I have the one that has like that battle damage chest thingy that like flips. Yep. Battle armor. Yeah. Hang on right there so somebody sees him and just gets him up. <laughs> You're like a, the, the thrift fairy or something. Yeah. I'm gonna help him out. Seriously, does this guy have toy OCD or what? Are we good? Kill a bee. Oh no. What's down here? Four wrestlers? Yeah. Greg the Hammer Valentine. Ah, uh, yeah. It's all coming back to me. Yeah. Yeah. Where'd you go Power Rangers? Good, huh? Yeah. Pick up a lot of these, yeah. Nope. No, just a couple. Yeah, <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now Stop. I own it. Stuff that I had in the basement. Uh, yeah. 
time. There we are. Okay. Just leave. Forget morphin' time, it's gonna be handicap parking time if we don't get this guy away from these toys. Now this Ghostbusters Ghost Zapper is something worth getting my hands all over. Let's see it in action. Ghostbusters! Looks haunted, we're cool, we got Ghost Zapper! Let's find those ghosts! Batteries not included. Yeah! I'm no ghost! But he is! I'll project one too! Over here! We're being watched. Fire ghost zappers. Time to high frequency. We ain't afraid of no ghosts. Ghost zapper, ghost projector guns, each sold separately. Ghostbusters from Kenner. Do I? Do I really need any of this? You know, I, I know it. It's, I'm giving up. This is over. It's over. Oh, you're taking it now? <laughs> no, no. I, I, I don't care. This is fantastic. I like it. It's missing. It. What are you bad? Like what? A lot of these older things take like crazy batteries. Oh yeah, that's like a... It probably takes like a moped that's battery. That's a nine. <laughs> it's like one nine volt and like two C's. That's crazy. So now, if you were a kid and you got that at Christmas morning, there's not a chance your parents would have the batteries for that. <laughs> that's pretty much what that means, right? <laughs> that's like next Christmas present. They're like, we have the nine volt <coughs> and one of the double A's. And yeah. we're taking the batteries out of the TV remote so you can get it going. It's uh, kind of neat though. I see you offering two bucks. I'll be yours. Uh, he ended up wanting ten dollars, and for something that's incomplete and requires that much juice, not worth it. Oh, gotta get, walk away with something today. Might as well steal somebody's <laughs> lunch. Sasha Banks. When I was in Austin, I saw like an original Simon. You know that game? Oh yeah. It's kind of big, so I'm like, I don't really want to take this on an airplane. I mean, the proton pack was like. <laughs> I don't think I would have had room well, with that. Could have played it on the airplane. That would have been awesome. <laughs> yeah. Mm -mm. They had some card in Jurassic Park figures. In there? Yeah. I don't know if that's your style or not. Well, I prefer to... Find them loose. Keep, keep them loose. You know what I mean? Keeping it loose? Yeah. Loose. Well, I know what you're talking about. Hot Wheels. So, okay, so this opens? Open. Is it like a launcher? I think so. Yeah, it's gotta be. How do you like that? Big. Definitely don't have space for that. He's probably asking <laughs> 1200 bucks for that right there. I don't know who this, I've never seen this person. This I think belongs to that guy. This is like his overflow of crap. It's not a sheep in there. That's pretty cool. I like sheep. You're holding out on me, man. You still have stuff, at, don't you? Should be able to wind them up. <laughs> that is deep. Oh, yeah. It's broken one. Yeah. I think I have the insecticide. It's amazing to me that you don't, you don't know. <laughs> I think you're finding out that I'm just a giant frog. <laughs> Here's another one. That's Huffer. He's broken though. They're all broken. So even though I was being a pouty pooter, I ended up buying these two wounded warriors, two for a dollar. What are you asking for this? That, that Casey thing? I like 20 and 10. I'll take 25 for the bear. What does it do? Cut to commercial. Introducing Casey, the tape player with personality. He rings and rings, he talks to you. Hi, my name is Casey. Casey, it's amazing the things you can do. Casey tells stories and jokes, too. Jokes and jokes, Casey. What do you get when you mix two ducks with one cow? Quarkers and milk. <laughs> You're amazing. Santa Claus will be here real soon. Casey, you're amazing. Casey comes with activity book and cassette from Play School. Other cassettes sold separately. I don't know. Neat, but <sighs> you think on it. How's that? Well, this is one of those things. If I'm gonna get him, like it makes sense to do it all together. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, we can just walk away for now. All right, let's walk away. Sorry, I'm being a Debbie Downer. So, despite my hard on for early robotics, I passed on this because you can get a complete one online for not that much more. Sorry for the cut. That's all right. Yeah. 
still money, right? It's still money. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. All right. Thanks a lot. No problem. Thanks. Sir. There you go. Oh, thank you. Cheers. So I'm pretty sure that I immediately lost those nunchucks, but that's his fault for not getting me a second one. I actually like the that's Steve Irwin. No, no, we uh, there's a bunch of stuff that we variety of items that we look for. Not sure if she's trying to be helpful or hates our stinking guts. This is a uh, Constructicon? Absolutely. Yeah. G1 all the way. It's like G1, right? At least. Man, you can cut the sarcasm in this room with a knife. It's a cool Iron Man. That's the, uh, the Marvel superhero line Iron Man with the movable armor. And... Still has some, huh? Yeah. He's a bitch. I've been eye f***ing this crank forever. But for $75, I'm not going anywhere near it. It's a little steep though, huh? Yeah, I think so. It's been there for a little bit. I feel like that's something you find at like an outdoor flea market on a table for like 10 or 15 bucks. Should have brought a proton pack as trade bait. Rainbow bread. A little fix in. It's not a very good bank. <laughs> not a very good one, yeah. <laughs> the king. See, I had an asteroids one. Hey, that's pretty awesome. Sold plenty of those. They don't go for 50 though. What a torso. Who's that? It's that Power Ranger, the Megazord guy. Oh, is it? Yeah. Hey. Huh. I don't know what that is, it's a robot. <laughs> it's like I want to turn. <laughs> I want to work. How is everything in here priced? Is it individual or? Okay, cool. Thank you. I feel like I should start lowering my standards and just buy something today. Pokemon! You're in the you're in the dollar thing here, the two for a dollar. So. <laughs> I don't know. You walked away from a couple of transformer parts. I did. I'm just I'm like having a, cent, I'm going through know, a lot at home. <laughs> I don't know what was going on there. Like, I'm just having a, a tough time. Here's a Greco flea market tip for you: blow your nose on whatever you're interested in, and they'll have to knock off a few bucks. Look at Jared dropping the mic. Too bad I already have Galvatron, and this one doesn't have the cannon either. I feel like a lamer for not taking uh, the boxes. Yeah, no, Again, I have zero subscribers. <laughs> You're right, I am still better than you. Thanks for the pick me up, Jared. You know, I'm starting to think there's more to a me the measure of a man than how many subscribers he has. Yeah, hey, uh, you don't have any Playmobil toys anywhere around here, do you? That was a, that was a joke. <laughs> oh, that was a joke. Yeah, I know. I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> have you tried turning around? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Step backwards. What are you asking on the He-Man stuff in the box there? Uh, final figures, I think the Skeletors and the He-Man, I think was trying to get 10 for, but okay. it's not that. Alright. What are you looking at, Teddy Ruxpin? Teddy Ruxpin is $25. It's not complete. But it's a nice box. He looks good. I don't think the wiring or the, the instructions are with him. So it's, he's pretty much uh, kind of like a window display. He might work. He just probably hasn't been used in oh. a very long time. Uh, can I take a look at it? By all means. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You can open them up. Take a look at them. I had Grubby. He did have the cord. And then somebody wanted him, but I think there was something with him that he didn't have. If I did 25, would you throw in the dollar figures? Yeah. Cool. I'll do that. Uh, I, I'm going to pass on that one for now. Thank no you. Problem. So in the moment, I thought I was getting a better deal, but after reviewing the footage, 
those dollar figures were actually two for a dollar. So I really didn't get that much of a discount. But I think I was just so caught up in the moment and excited to finally get a Teddy Ruxman, in the box no less, that I had to go for it. And it's one of those things where, like, you find yourself talking about something that you haven't talked about or mentioned in the longest time, and then boom, it shows up right in front of you. I always point to these moments as proof that there is a higher being out there. And you know what? If he's gonna help me get vintage toys, I'll go to church more often. So after 32 years, I finally got my teddy bear. Bush did 9-11. So it took a little effort to get Teddy back up and running. First, I had to scrub away the battery corrosion and file down the rusty battery contacts, install four C-sized batteries, get an official Teddy Ruxman cassette tape, and give his eyes and mouth a little rub down. Is there more stuff in the Junior Fire Patrol manual? Yes, lots more. Here's chapter three. What to do when you're out of a burning house or building. I know, go to your special meeting place. That's right, Grubby. The manual says you should have a special meeting place. And if you don't have one, discuss it with your parents. Unfortunately, ever since I recorded that video, his motor skills appear to be a little off. Maybe I pet him a little too hard. So here are those other figures that I got from the same vendor. A Power Rangers Pink Ranger McDonald's toy. This unidentified red robot. Krang's little walker from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. A Megazord torso from Power Rangers. And this other unknown robot. Surprised I was expecting it to be more. But I guess it doesn't have the tape, it doesn't have the book. It might not work. Oh wow, does it work? I don't know, I just bought some batteries so we'll find out. But it has the box, so... Yeah, I was pretty happy with this. Oh, that's a fun find. It's so lame. <laughs> How cool is that? What are you doing? You catch them. You solve the crimes. If you're good. If you're not, then... Well, yeah, then you just waste all the chemicals that you can't replenish. <laughs> you just off it all. What are you guys looking for this? Yeah. I think I'm more of a buyer at two. Would that work for you? Yeah. Uh... It's really not that worth it to me, honestly. Okay, thank you. Hold on. <coughs> Good thing I brought my purse with me. So, not only did I haggle, but I made him break a 10 and give me a plastic bag. Winning! And so for $2, I get to live out my fantasies as an amateur gumshoe. This was a pretty neat set, where you had to use clues, forensics, and other evidence to solve cases. Made for 8 year olds, so I was pretty happy when I cracked 3 out of 4 cases. Cool. Alright man, well, enjoy yourself. And, uh, I definitely uh, will. Have a good, uh, good afternoon. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Yeah man, likewise. Maybe, maybe you're my good luck charm. I always come yeah, away with something yeah. good. I'm gonna back out, so. Sure, we'll get out of your way. Okay, that's enough flirting for today. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for this episode of Spidey Sense. Hopefully, this is just the, the tip of the iceberg when it comes to this, like, waterfall of content that's going to be gushing from this channel because I have a ton of stuff piled up that I bought that I need to show you guys and, you know, the stories that go along with it and the amazing deals that I always, always seem to get. And, uh, you know, I just want to share it with you guys. Because, damn it, I deserve to be a marginal celebrity. Don't give up on me, Internet. Internet.